Hey everyone, Video Game Lover here, and I'm here to talk about my experiences I've had with every Southeast Game Exchange, and we're going to do this every day, from 2016, 20, uh, Monday 2016, Tuesday 2017, Wednesday 2018, and Thursday 2019, and it's going to end, hopefully if everything goes well on Friday night, I'll be doing a live stream, and I want some people in the retro gaming community to join in. So, one I'll also mention, there's no music, no nut. I want this to be authentic. I want this to be me in the camera talking to you guys about the Southeast Game Exchange. So, let's start with the very first Southeast Game Exchange that took place October 1st, 2016. And it only ran for about six hours. Now... I want you to. I want you guys to be on my perspective. Now, normally, whenever you hear the news of retro gaming convention, you get really excited. But you have no idea how excited I was because where I'm at, we don't have game exchanges. Really, we don't have a gaming convention. The Southeast Game Exchange was the very first game convention we ever had. Whenever we have conventions, it's like something little, or is it card related, or anything like that. But video games. This was kind of like our my our retro palooza in my area, so it was a big deal. Um, I even still have this that I kept uh, from for all these years. What they had, you know, you had uh, some of the partnerships. You had the watercolor cove, one of the video games, um, the video game cavern, obviously. Um, so yeah. Really cool. And they also had tournaments. They had a Tetris tournament, a Sonic tournament, and a Mario Kart tournament. They also had some food there. It was in the Hilton Head in uh, Greenville. So that's where it was for the first two years. But I want to tell you um, my experience of the first Southeast Game Exchange. I was very excited. But around this time, I think a lot of people know, I was in a very stressful mood. Um, I was kind of getting annoyed with you too, because of the law of feuds I've accidentally got in, myself into that year. It was a nightmare. So the Southeast Game Exchange came along. Me, my older brother, and my mom, we went. We had an amazing time. The atmosphere was incredible. It felt like I belonged in that game exchange. It, it, it felt so lively. It, it amazed me just seeing so many games, so many games, so many sellers that have interest in the in video games and in retro gaming. You had one seller that had an amazing, amazing selection of Pokemon plushies. You had many people selling a Sega Genesis games. Uh, I once saw a pyramid head cosplay, which I will link. I'm going to link all the picks I had in the 2016 Southeast Game Exchange so you will have, uh, get the picture. And also, I saw Chrono Trigger with its manual. That was really awesome. I mean, it was crazy to see all the types of stuff that was in that convention, let alone the very first Southeast Game Exchange. And my older brother, who didn't really have interest in retro gaming, he's the type of guy that will just move on to a newer generation of gaming. This, he was blown away on just how many people were into retro gaming that he started to get into it. He started to buy GameCube games and, most, and started to buy Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance games. So, it was an awesome time. Uh, met some great sellers. Um, I bought some good stuff. Most notably was this right here. The Super Nintendo Mini or the Super Nintendo Junior, which I always wanted for a long time. Um, and also I bought Turtles in Time. This was pretty expensive. I got this for $50, which was an amazing deal. But Turtles in Time was about $50. Um, so I was really happy to get this. I also got... Tinhead for the Genesis. Um, I actually, con I should have gotten Socket. Because Tinhead I thought was just a decent game. But I think I should have gotten Socket. 
Um, I also got a lot of PS1 games, Spyro 1, Spyro 3, Crash Bandicoot, Tekken 3, and Parasite Eve. Um, looking back, I didn't actually buy a lot of stuff, mainly because we didn't really have a lot of money to spend, so I was kind of on a budget, but I was very happy to get some great stuff for the 2016 Southeast Game Exchange, which I'll uh, link you guys in the description. Um... But it was, it was a lot of fun. It only ran for six hours, and it was only for one day, but it was awesome. And I remember when we were in the mall after it was all done, we even told people, you should, guys should check it out. It's really dope. And people were like, oh, heck yeah, we're going to go. So, yeah, it was truly fun. I played a lot of games. But like I said um, back in my original video about it back in 2016, unfortunately, it's not there anymore because my channel was suspended. There was no Sega Saturn stuff. I didn't see any Sega Saturn games, nor systems. The Sega Saturn was ghost that year. I didn't see any original Xboxes <laughs> either. I only saw, I saw Xbox games, but not Xbox, uh, original Xboxes. So, that was a little weird. It was a lot of NES games, a lot of SNES games, Genesis games. I saw a box model 3 Sega Genesis, which was really nice. There was a lot of stuff. But it was, it was small. Because it was the first one. It was the experimental. It was the experiment to see how it went. I mean, we. I mean, I honestly thought I was going to be like maybe only twenty people showed up, but there was a lot of people that showed up. So that was awesome, and I had a really good time um, in the Southeast Game Exchange. It was the very first one. Um, I remember. I still remember when it happened. It was. Right around the time the Cubs were in the playoffs, and we all know how that turned out. They won the World Series, so had a great time in the first Southeast Game Exchange. Um, and that's really about it, because it was it was a small one. Um, and hope and tomorrow I'll be talking about the 2017 Southeast Game Exchange. So I hope you guys enjoy me reminiscing the very first. Southeast Game Exchange. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow with me reminiscing the 2017 Southeast Game Exchange. See you guys later. Peace.